All right, what's up my brothers? In this video, we're gonna be talking about the two most common mistakes, these are big ones too, that older gentlemen make when dating younger women. When I say older, I'm gonna say more seasoned gentlemen, okay? They've got their act together, they've made some bank, and they really struggle with these two things a lot with women. Before we get into that, uh, we're taking the McLaren to the dealer today to get brand new tires. Let's get a cold start in. talking about this one all right so we're on the road we got the iced coffee down let's talk about these two mistakes that successful more seasoned gentlemen make when trying to date younger women um, some of you guys watching may be familiar with the Dos Equis man he was dubbed the most interesting man in the world also a sex figure believe it or not for a lot of younger women um, for whatever reason they cast this guy and he ticked off all the right boxes he was called the most interesting man in the world that's the mistake that most older guys make when trying to attract younger women is they're not that interesting they don't have a lot going on in the world and I'm not trying to say that to disparage them it's a matter of fact there's a lot of guys that I talk to that are 40 plus um, that have put their dent in the universe maybe they've been married maybe never been married maybe have kids don't have kids but they're not particularly interesting they don't have any personal hobbies beyond what they might have used in the past uh, as identifiers like husband or CEO of company before they sold out their interest for a seven or eight figure exit for example these guys are weapons they've got money they know how to be successful they know how to you know they understand the art of the deal they understand things you know like employees hiring practices HR packaging sales all this sort of stuff they're world-class at a lot of things but they've spent way way too much time during that period uh, really not honing their own personal skills and hobbies more specifically all right so let me give you an example um, you you can pretty much do anything you want to women except bore them okay I'm gonna say that again you can do pretty much anything you want to women except bore them um, if you're an older guy inviting a younger woman into your day into your life as a, a date uh, maybe you're dating multiple women's maybe you're ex exclusive I don't know it doesn't matter you can't bore them you can't be a boring guy women hate being bored even if you're older and successful and half bank if you're not interesting if you don't give them something to get excited about she's probably not going to want to commit any more time to when she discovers that a lot of guys get ghosted they're like I don't understand you know I've made a lot of money I'm very successful my divorce is out of the way my kids are all grown up why can't I get the girls and then you start asking them like well what are your hobbies what are you inviting them to do when you go out on dates with them and by the way guys you're not entering their world as an older seasoned successful guy she's being invited to enter your world okay she doesn't want to have you come over hang out listen to her style of music hang out with her friends dress like her you know uh, guys her age that she might be you know hanging out with with a hat side to back sort of thing she doesn't particularly want that some guys think that that's what they want but that's not what it is what they're actually looking for is to be invited into your world to do exciting things the guys that get this and you'll see posts like this on social media Instagram even where you see young hot women on these fantastic yachts and boats uh, these young hot women don't own those boats they're they're generally speaking older more successful guys um, same thing with you know exotic cars you know for example uh, you've you've got to give them something to look forward to that they can't get from the demographic that they're in guys their age aren't particularly mature they're not that fun and sometimes interesting a lot of you know Chad looking guys if I'm being honest like alpha male looking guys um, that aren't particularly interesting in their age category as you get older as a guy your looks will start to deteriorate I mean there's no question about that but what about your level of hey I'm an interesting guy I'm the most interesting guy in the world that's what you got to be looking at you have to have hobbies I don't care what they are but they've got to be interesting it can't be something boring that doesn't give her something you know to be excited about entering in I had this guy that was completely sucking with women and I'm like well what are your hobbies you know do you you know do you invite them into these things well no I just generally have a coffee and a dinner or I buy them dinner and it's like uh, 
you're basically leading with beta bucks, which is the second part, you know, to this video. I said number one is not being interesting and not having hobbies. The second thing that guys do wrong, incredibly wrong, is they lead with money. And all that's going to do is put you in a position where you're going to either become a sugar daddy or you're going to be buying them dinners, paying them rent, basically becoming an ATM. And if you're leading with beta bucks, you know, the beta side of the hypergamy equation, and if you don't know what that is, with hypergamy, women are basically dating across and up. And there's two parts of that equation. The main part is you're either leading with money or you're leading with looks. You know, you're the Chad. If you're an older guy, there's fewer older successful seasoned men that still look really, really good. You know, there's some Hollywood examples, the Brad Pitts of the world that are over 50, stuff like that. But more often than not, you're not ticking off that box. You haven't spent your entire life, you know, with your looks being your primary focus. It's just not part of the equation. So that's gonna have deteriorated a bit. And the main mistake most of these guys make is they lead with money. Let me buy you dinner, let me pay your rent, let me be your sugar daddy, blah, blah, blah. If you're leading with that, you're basically leading with the fact that you're an automatic telling machine, giving them free money because they're beautiful. You're giving them free money and validation because they're attractive. And when you lead with that, you're gonna have a bad experience. And a lot of these guys wonder why they're just using me for my money. Well, that's what you've led with. And if you lead with you know, your money, your, your wealth, then that's all that they're gonna be interested in because that's all you have to offer them is the beta buck side of the hypergamy equation. You need to be interesting and ideally, you need to lead a little bit more into the optics of attraction and masculinity. A lot of older guys will tend to let themselves go. They'll get fat, they'll become obese. You know, they're not particularly attractive. They don't have a look. Um, you've got to do what you can still to look max, even as an older guy, because money is one part of the equation, but you still have to be interesting, funny, you have to have exciting things to invite them into. You know, for me, I'm a fast car guy. I'm in, you know, I'm in my McLaren. If I was single and dating, spinning plates, one of the things I might say is, hey, you know, I'm going out with some friends on a, a drive this Sunday. Why don't you wear that thing that I like and hop in the car with me and come along for the ride? That's something exciting that you can invite them to come and join and participate in because guys their age probably don't have access to a $300,000 car with a network of entrepreneurs that also drive cool cars and do cool shit. That's what you got to do. Invite them to come and do fun stuff, whether it's off-road buggy racing, exotic car stuff, maybe you have a boat in a cool location. These are all things that you can consider doing as an older seasoned gentleman, but again, Again, I see so many guys leading with just the beta bucks part of the equation and you've got to be exciting you got to have something to offer them um, some some of these younger women you know this is another thing that you can lead with you know by the way is you know they like this hashtag boss girl you know bad bitch you know bad boss or whatever it is that they're using these days and they want to lead with being an entrepreneur making money if you're a successful seasoned guy those are some of the conversations that you can have I mean most guys that have put a dent in the universe and made bank maybe had an exit or two from a business could have the opportunity to sit down and be like yeah I understand what you're doing there and I can offer some insight that's something she's not gonna get you know from a younger kid around her age so these are all some things that you got to consider when you're an older seasoned gentleman and when I say this you know I want you younger guys to listen up to this and especially the older guys because many of you are making this mistake Again, I have a lot of consults with guys that book my time to try to get some clarity around this, and they're spending way too much time either leading with money, you know, the beta bucks part of the equation, or they're boring. You can do anything to women you want, but do not bore them. It's as simple as that, you know? Anyway, leave a comment below, smash the like button, and let me know what you think. Uh, maybe you've got some tips to offer that I didn't cover in this video. And in the pin top comment, I've got a bunch of resources you probably want to consider. Stuff around joining my community, grabbing my book, The Unplugged Alpha, it's become a bestseller on Amazon. It's a wonderful distillation of a lot of the stuff on my channel. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and the notification bell. There's loads of interesting comments. Make sure you browse the older catalog of videos. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.